A woman caught his eye by the doors where she stood on the train, automated doors that folded in cruelly on the crowd, but she was not touched, neither her nor her French braid. He watched the other women and children crushed by the automated doors and could not worry, nor could anyone around him worry, for they had only to gaze upon this one's light face and skin and hair to lose the weight of the world. The train could fall off the tracks and into traffic. The earth could open up and inhale the traffic. The universe could open up and inhale the earth. God could accidentally breathe and torch the whole of creation. He watched this woman through the glass and was calm and straight while the bitterness welled up in him. His thoughts turned to Bella. He would not have her. She could drag him around the streets of Chicago, through Hubbard's cave, into the narrows of the hillside strangler, and he would not have her. She could wait for him in the alley to step out from under white yellow lights of the Biograph Theater to murder him Dillinger style, then wash her hands of his blood, life of the picture still burning in his mind. He could turn the course of the Chicago River away from Lake Michigan and back upon itself, yet still fail to win her. She was not a prize he could win. The very notion of winning her was sacrilege. He could push the land out from Edgewater and landscape her image iconically in all the hedge. She would stare restlessly past to the lake horizon. She could be a sister to him, perhaps, but never, never the one and only love of his life.